Thomas, Kimmy Tex joining us here in studio, and Robin Sean with us here as well. All right, listen, who are the Patriots fans going to be rooting for in this one, guys? Think about it well. Home team or the dude that won six Super Bowls for them, Sean? Well, look, I know Tom Brady is excited. Buccaneers, and they saw what they lost. I think the patience is going to wear a little bit more thin for <laughs> Mac Jones and his rookie starts. Yeah. I also think Mac Jones has a long way to go before he earns right. that spot, no question. I think the fans will keep it classy and at least show the nod once they show the love. All right, it's game time. Let's keep it moving. Right. And once you get into the X's and O's, you got to remember the history here, right, y'all? Like... Belichick and Brady were together for two decades. So does Belichick, in this sense, uh, M. Rob, have an advantage in game planning here versus his former QB? Mm, good question, MJ. I I'm going to say no. I don't think B Bill Belichick has the advantage. But no doubt it's going to come down to Matt Judon and Josh Uche. Can they get after Tom Brady? But I don't want us to just focus on the Tom Brady and the Bill Belichick He's aspect missing. of that game because Bruce Arians like, listen, <laughs> I just want a Super Bowl. Okay, so y'all need to put some respect on my <laughs> name. He's going to yes. make sure that the game script is going to favor the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's going to ensure that the game script also favors Tom Brady to be like, hey, yep. this is what you lost. I'm his coach now. You may have won five Super Bowls or six Super Bowls. I just won one last season, and we're going to do it again in Los Angeles. Look Oof. at me. I'm the captain right. now. Don't forget right. Gronk. Also returning there to Foxborough. Y'all, just give me some popcorn. I'm ready for this show. He spent some time with the Rams and the Saints as well. Lots of time in the NFL. And now climbing literally even bigger mountains. Mark, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Uh, you know, as we're looking through, you know, some of the footage of you climbing these incredible mountains, a great opportunity for the Bengals and Jags to really show off in prime time, no less, and to really have those young stars sort of see, show everybody else what these teams are building. Willie, wake some people up. Because I think people are sleeping on the Bengals. Yeah, no, the Bengals are a good team. And, you know, we heard Cam talk about some of the pieces on defense. I'll start over there first since nobody... going into we this did. season and obviously during the draft everyone was like oh should they take chase or should they not but joe mixon has told you and they figured out a way to scheme around some of the holes in their o-line so lawrence handles the blitz 
Well, let's see how the offensive coordinator handles the blitz. Because if you know you got a blitzing <laughs> team, then that's when you incorporate those Mr. throwing the football. I think they want it to be run first, then throw the football, bring him in slowly, especially since Daryl Bevel is one of the OCs and play callers. So I think they got off script a little bit with what they wanted to do with Trevor because they haven't been winning football games. They've been playing from behind. So if they can get ahead, if they can get a lead, if they can win first and second downs and stay close, he can hand the ball off a little bit more, take some of the onus off. He's leading the league in interceptions tied with our, go our boy Zach Wilson, you know, down with the Jets. And that's not the script they wanted for him. So they got to put him in the right position, but they also got to go out and play a little bit different. Ah, oh, yes, my hair nemesis. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor, but listen, he has five. Yeah, we got a battle going on. But he actually <laughs> has five passing touchdowns in the first three games, um, which is of most tied, actually, for most uh, by first overall pick, along with, of course, Joe, Bur Joe Burrow and Andrew Luck. All right, Cynthia, give us your game projection here. All right, so this one is 28 to 19 in favor oh, of the bank touchdown situation. Well, I think he has one again in this game, making it his fourth in four games because that's a pretty fun stat to keep going. So I really like this offense. It's really fun to watch. And Joe Burrow, big day. You could play him in fantasy. He's number 11 for me for quarterback. Hey, I'll try, but you know it's hard in our league, Cynthia. All right, week two starts tomorrow.